Well, I'm going to show you how you can create a contingency table using Excel stat and also how to carry out a chi-square test using Excel stat. OK, let's start. So first, I have my data loaded here. So this is Oregon fly data. And so you can see there are so many different variables and a lot of rows here. If we want to carry out a test, a chi-square test, or maybe a contingency table, we need to focus on categorical variables. Categorical variables also known as uh, qualitative variables. And for this demonstration, I'm going to show you how we can do a contingency table using origin. That means uh, where, the, uh, where the plane leaves. That's going to be a categorical variable. And uh, the other one is going to be the destination state. So I highlighted those two variables using yellow. OK. And I'm going to start Excel stat. I'm going to click on correlation slash association test. And uh, if you go down, there's a there's a uh, there's an option for test on contingency table. Click on that one. So we see a dialog box here. OK, so every time you you see this dialog box, it's very, very important that you refresh it. So I'm going to refresh it. And uh, there are two different kind of data formats Excel stat takes. So you have to decide which data format you have. The very first one says qualitative variables, which actually means are you going to provide Excel stat with two different kinds of qualitative variables, also known as a categorical variables. And this option is exactly what we have. We have origin. We also have the destination state. So both of them are qualitative variables. Alternatively, you could also provide Excel stat with a contingency table. But at this moment, we don't have a contingency table being produced yet. So we have to choose the first one. After we select data format to be qualitative variable, we're going to specify what the row variable and what the column variable is. So I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going to choose row variable. I'm going to use uh, origin as my row variable. So I'm going to click on here. And for column variable, it's going to be the destination state. So that's going to be this one. OK, so you can see those variables being filled here. And uh, we do have um, we do have column header, which is the origin, and also destination state. We also have other headers as well. So you do want to make sure variable labels is checked. We're gonna go on to the next one option. Okay, so we're gonna uncheck all of them, uncheck all of them, and we're gonna only focus on the ones that we're gonna uh, we're gonna study. We're gonna concern with here. So first thing is. Uh, uh, you just have to uncheck all of them. Missing data. So sometimes there may be missing data in your data set. And I'm going to choose this option, remove the observations and outputs. So this tab is super important. OK, so we do want to create a contingency table. So it's, we do have to make sure the contingency table is being checked. And association coefficient is not very necessary. You can leave it there. You can uncheck it. It doesn't really matter. And uh, we do have to check observed frequency, which means the number of accounts for each cell. For example, if the origin from PDX, if the plane leaves from PDX and arrives in Chicago, Illinois, the destination state is Illinois, we do want to count the exact number of uh, flights actually fall into PDX and also Illinois. And uh, so I also like to check those three. So those, instead of giving us the frequency, the actual counts, we're going to have the percentages. I'm going to change the proportions to percentages. And they're fairly similar, except the first one gives you the percentages for each row, for each different column, and also total percentages. And charts, uh, you can leave it as the default setting. I'm going to click OK. So you get this dialog box. Again, this is not an error message. It's an information box. And you can click Do not show this message anymore. You just click on Continue. OK, so all the outs, outputs are being saved in a second worksheet. And let's take a look at what we have here. OK, and uh, so Excel stat has a, a lot of cool features. And one of them is there are several buttons here. 
So if you do click on Word, that means you can copy the output into your Word directly. It's going to produce a Word document for you. And I especially like the second one. If you do click on it, all the lines, all the grid lines disappear and make your presentation much neater. OK, and uh, so let's take a look at what we have. So uh, we asked Excel stack to produce the contingency table. And we do have the contingency table. And uh, so for example, this two, this contingency table, these two contingency tables are fairly similar, except this first one, it doesn't have a total, total row. And similarly, there is another not total row here as well. So this contingency table is going to be the one that I need the most. OK, I'm going to copy it into my uh, Word document, and that's going to be turned in as a report. So this contingency table tells me, for example, there are one flight that, uh, that left Eugene Airport and arrives in Arizona. And there are 266 flights left PDX and arrives to Arizona. And in total, there is a 267 flights uh, that, uh, that arrives to Arizona. And uh, so the following three tables, as you can see, this one and this one, instead of giving us actual counts, actual frequency, we are going to see the percentages. OK, so for example, the first one gives us the row percentages. OK, so let's take a look. OK, so what's what this represents is so out of one out of all the flights, 1.46 percent of flights actually arrives to uh, Arkansas and 5.49, 5.5 percent of flights um, is uh, arrives to uh, Arizona. And same goes here, as you can see. Let's take a look. OK, so 300, uh, sorry, 3.8 percent of flights actually left RDN. And PDX is the major airport in Oregon. And about 85% of flights actually left the PDX. OK, you also have the total percentages. So uh, these are the total percentages.